Here's today's In Touch Devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Exodus chapter 3. Now Moses was pasturing the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire from the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, yet the bush was not being consumed. So Moses said, I must turn aside and see this marvelous sight, why the bush is not burning up. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Do not come near here. Remove your sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. And the Lord said, I have certainly seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their outcry because of their taskmasters, for I am aware of their sufferings. So I have come down to rescue them from the power of the Egyptians, and to bring them up from that land to a good and spacious land, to a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. And now, behold, the cry of the sons of Israel has come to me. Furthermore, I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians are oppressing them. And now, come, and I will send you to Pharaoh, so that you may bring my people, the sons of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh, and that I should bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Assuredly, I will be with you, and this shall be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God at this mountain. Then Moses said to God, Behold, I am going to the sons of Israel, and I will say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. Now they may say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, This is what you shall say to the sons of Israel. I am has sent me to you. When he was called to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, Moses argued that he was the wrong person for the job because his speaking skills weren't good. Dr. Stanley says, I've met people who likewise knew the Lord had called them to do something, but they didn't believe they could. This is actually a form of rebellion. It amounts to telling God that He isn't powerful enough to equip you, and that for His will to be accomplished, it depends upon your ability. God is more than able to equip those of us who are His born-again followers, but He can achieve His purposes with or without us. He promises that if we believe Him and move forward in obedience, He will reveal, sometimes step by step, what He wants done, and enable us to accomplish it. Philippians 2 verse 13 says that God Himself is at work in you, both to desire and to work for His good pleasure. There's nothing to fear. We never have to take on His work in our own strength, and He won't assign any task without enabling us. He's committed to equipping His children to do whatever He asks. If you're a follower of Christ, you have a personal responsibility to say yes when God calls and to let Him achieve His purposes through you. He won't let you down. Recalling how He's worked in your past will strengthen your faith, and His continued work will conform you to the image of His Son.